Hello everybody, this is, welcome to a brand new malware video. Now here's the thing I just noticed before I started recording here. I'm pretty sure I did the malware shield video years back on 9-11. And today is 9-11. And mind you, I just did not do the purpose. I wanted to do this yesterday actually, but in typical fashion shit came up and I didn't get to it. Uh, actually, <laughs> So early, I was supposed to work yesterday. Monday, today's Wednesday, you probably saw her. Monday, I got a text saying not to come to work on Tuesday because they didn't need me. Then Tuesday, I got a phone call. Hey, we do kind of need you. Could you come in? So that's what I ended up going to work anyway. I planned on doing this yesterday because I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to work yesterday than I was. And anyhow, but funny enough, I, I'm pretty sure I did buy my show on 9 11 years ago. I do want to say, Rest in peace to those who died on this day. Thank you to the first responders who ran into the buildings to see who you could and potentially did not come out alive. Um, two of the few thousand people died that day, 23 years ago. It is a sad day, but it should be remembered, and those people should not be forgotten. And you know, many more lost their lives because of the wars that started in retaliation slash, I guess, retaliation of, of 9 11. The war on terrorism. And one thing I want to say whether you agree with the war or not, respect those who put their lives on the line for this country. They're fighting for our freedom, they're fighting to keep us safe. Even if you don't agree with the war, respect those who served and put their lives on the line, or just don't say anything at all. The reality is, these people aren't the, the soldiers going into battle aren't the ones making the decision to go, go to war. It's the government, unfortunately. The government decides when to go to war and where, blah, blah, blah. But respect those who served, who put their lives on the line, to keep you safe. You and me, everybody else here in America. If you're not an American, then I just respect these soldiers as well. Anyhow, okay. I'm just going to get out of the way. We're looking at three rogues today. We're looking at Windows Anti Breach Module, Windows Paramount Protection, and Windows Anti Breach Hover. These three are very similar. I'm just looking at them all at once. I have the wrong floor, damn it. Uh, I want to look at it anyway. Let's find these files, rogues. Ah, oh, crap, I put the wrong order on. Alright, I thought they were in here to, to move it on. Okay. Let me put the right order in. We're gonna go to other desktop. No one working. No one. And then put in an H. So now I should have rows, fake binds on my Here we have the fake binds field. I'm going to create a snapshot here. Sorry, I thought I was already involved in. That's fine, whatever. Okay, so I do have notes, um, you can't see them here on my screen here, my other screen, I have a three, three monitor set up, so my left monitor of notes, right monitor, or center monitor, um, the, what you guys see, my right monitor of BS. Let's do an anti-breach module first. I run this guy. Rogues, because you haven't seen my first episode this year, rogues are fake antivirus programs, so I'm not really the virus pretends to be an antivirus program. It says, hey, we found malware. You need to pay us to send those viruses on it. You need to pay us to remove these viruses. And ironically, the virus is the fucking thing telling you this is malware on the system. It's not lying, technically. It's just not telling you that it is the virus. Here's what it in the virus module. Um, not a bad design. It, it, in a smart way, it almost kind of tries to copy Windows, or more legit. 
you got the firewall icon if we look at it, if I can't look at it. Um, and see, look at how these icons, how it looks compared to these. Notice how they're similar is. I say, it's not a perfect clone, but the artifacts they did this from the to these is pretty damn similar. If you look at the classic view here, and this firewall, look at the icon. The icon is the same. Security center. See the icon right here. Home. But I've seen this somewhere before. And I'm thinking about that one. This is like the Windows Vista update uh, icon, I believe. Um, this is the like order. I don't think it's more like an Earth icon, isn't it? Actually. Yeah, kind of, yeah. And the Explorer icon, you've probably seen it before. I also don't have as a default browser. Oh, yeah. And someone else does it home. Um, but it looks, it always uses the Windows look to make this seem more legitimate. Alright, anyhow. This comes up here and tells you, hey, you know, you're, you're very infected, you've got a lot of malware. To a person who doesn't know any better, and you think, oh my god, my computer's infected. You know, this is bad, I need to pay for this to, you know, get things taken care of. And you'll see, you know, a uh, worm, clean RC exploit. People won't know what this means, but they'll see stuff like, you know, porn dialer and porn tool, and they'll think, oh no, you know, if someone, say, say, let's take for example, say it's an older person, they do watch porn on their computer, they may be afraid to ask for help, to avoid the embarrassment of people knowing that they watch this stuff, you know, everybody probably talks about watching this stuff, but, you know, um, so it might really freak people out, and some malware, not this one, some malware, will also say, oh, we've caught you watching child porn and this and that, and those people, if they're guilty, then fuck them, but, you know, anyhow. Yeah. Um, those people really freak out because now they think the malware knows what they've been doing, because those ones, there's one I have, I can't get to work yet, um, but the one is the FBI, they call them the FBI, money pack boxes, or claim stuff like that, and say, oh, the FBI's got you, we've locked your computer up, you must pay us to unlock your computer. And those people, if they go see that stuff, will really freak out. So, this doesn't do that, this doesn't go that far. But, this can still scare people into thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I... What do I do? You know, I gotta pay for this stuff. Hit remove all. Um, and to activate it, this part doesn't work anymore. Now, I did the end unplug the computer, just in case something happens. But I'm sure these hits are long fucking dead, it's not gonna work. Let's mess around here a bit. Um, and so I open the computer home. Um, the Windows security icon. Win Windows uses the Windows name again. Something very legit. Advanced Security Center. You may think this is part of Windows itself. It came with the OS, if you don't know any better. So it's a very believable thing. Advanced Security Center helps you make your Windows security settings, put your computer. Make sure these incentives are on. All on, see lowercase. If these things are not on, follow our recommendations. Warning, your computer is at risk. And actually, I see the Windows NWS module. Activate Windows NWS module to view all the versions against identity theft, viruses, malware, and other threats. The writing is actually really good. A lot of um, fake stuff like this. The grammar's bad, the English is broken, things are spelled wrong. This so far is very well done. Somebody who did this knew English well. So, okay, it's a bit of turn this thing on. Okay, you get these fake um, alerts. This is stuff, legitimate stuff trying to run and say, oh no, 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 that, that's bad. Again, just to scare you, just do other things that you should be running or trying to run. There's some internet cycle with anyway, and who's actually so old, who cares? Um, but, let's see this file. It's suspected to have infected the PC. Oh no, it infected, it infected me. Oh no, I need to pay for this so I can, you know, push my computer. This type of virus intercepts internet data and entertainment spam. 
It's a, <sighs> that may be perfectly the right word, but I can't have that one slide. Do you remember the server? Please click the prevent attack button to prevent all attacks from the PC. Okay, we'll prevent that. Oh, I forgot to activate it. So again, the English is very good. It's very convincing, I will say. Someone says no any better. That's, I can absolutely see this convincing it. Somebody. Um, my updates, maybe for that, click that, buy it. Revision, again, yeah, buy it, I'm sure. Update now. Okay, so update now, we have five for updates available. Name, minor, down the error, short proxy, not warm. Oh, top, 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 okay. So updates, you got paper up first. Um, I'm sure updates got paper. Yep. Get home. This is this. Firewall. The current Windows Firewall. Even my thing. Oh, we're good. This is a part of the OS, you know. I'm sure. This is all I Pay for it. Okay, this is all just part of the I see what it's done. Yeah. Let's see the other sticky tools in the kitchen. If you want to enable it, I'm sure you got pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, here's something. Anti fishing reflection helps you away from the others. So, make sure you just wrote it in information and steal your credit card data off of your PC. If not, it matters. Anti fishing protection helps you avoid fraudulent websites that might trick you into divulging sensitive, sensitive information and steal your credit card data and, and also infect your PC with malware and viruses. And actually, that's accurate. That's correct. So again, giving more legitimacy to this program by not lying for once. Um, I don't think I can do this. Oh. No. These does, these do, these does, wow. These do look like a lot, uh, a lot, well, what the fuck? <laughs> these do look like actual processes that run on the computer. As you can see, the debug straight looks like uh, boxes, get services, um, oh wow, I don't know what it's Yeah. So this does, this is a legitimate thing that is, well, it's not legitimate. But it is pulling the actual applications running on the system right now. So it's pretty cool. On the run manager, again, those two things do run with the computer. They're more than that running. But I show you this thing. But again, that gives to a novice, maybe just a little bit more. This will give more legitimacy to it. It's showing actual tasks running on the system. Names you probably recognize in here. Uh, sort of the neighbor. All Windows services. I don't because I'm the most question I'm really my better than you. Oh and sweet. Huh? Huh. I d I didn't go this far into it. That's cool, Hashtag. Let's you do this. Broad malware, what the fuck? Just the file, the actual Windows file, the, the log box. Play manager. Uh. Your IP one twenty seven zero zero one. That's not a lie, but your IP is also. Everyone's IP is one twenty seven zero zero one. So look back at the address. This is just fucking made up. There's no internet on this VM. There is no two one zero network. So. Uh, service manager. Okay. Security center, the real security center. Let's take a look at these two. Alright, alright. I'll on top. But again, see how these kind of compare? It does a convincing job to not if I will say that. And as the security center search has not been started or was stopped, probably stopped by this, I imagine. So, anyhow. Tested where it has all. It's just an of you. Alright, okay.
I'm going with it, there's, my, there's no bedding here. So you never kind of know when the bed is going to die. So it just shuts down. What I was saying was, this is like the um, control panel with the boat in the thing. Um, it's kind of cool actually. It's more legitimate for a little. Makes it seem more legitimate because hey, this stuff was familiar to you. Well, that's part. I'm going to all of it because it's pretty. I'd be off fucking day doing it. I was not wasting it a bit. Alright. That's a lot. Should we go for Huh. I've never seen it before. And you are indeed. I don't think it's always. But it's kind of cool. The quick skin. That fucking new art. Uh, quick skin. This skin is the most common location for residents of the inside. This skin does not take much time and it's fine for everybody forever. This skin does not take much time and is fine for everyday use. Again, correct. It's not a lie. It gives more legitimacy to this program. It's not legit. It's not more legit. What does that? I don't even know, sir. Well, you know, is anything you open? I mean, not. What's the matter? But either. Yes, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You did, it was like, forced stuff to be on top of everything. And now it's not doing that. Um. You've seen the random fuck alerts. I think what it says itself, too. Um. Alright. I'm gonna stop this down here. Ow. We I need something more now. Yeah, it does. What a deep scan is up there. Found one here, right? I think I found one, but now we got a whole list of stuff. Hmm. We got a home here. Well, yeah. Yeah. I can't. Didn't stay up. But now I know. Like this. It's always gonna be on top. I can't get in. Stay in front of it. It's all the interface. You can close it though. Do that. But let's say I'm gonna open Chrome. Ignore it. Whenever it piss off. Oh, I can't. Chrome is never a virus. Um. Notepad. Notepad work. About media player. Okay. You might think if you can open a notepad, can you cheat and name something else in the notepad and try to run it? Oh, that's fine now. Go to C drive, files, Google Chrome, Kitchen. Put some of that stuff here. Let's name it notepad. I didn't know it's Google Chrome. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never mind. Slash does not work on these ones. Uh, some weaker ones that will work if you're in the explorer.exe. But this one, it, it kind of knows better, so damn. Alright, let's go through a couple more things here. And then we'll. Uh, what did I help menu? But. Because we're in 2015 when this made the or deserved the bit of a um, version for the free version. Oh boy. This important, this software says you buy copyright law and national security on office or production or distribution software or any part of it will be prosecuted to the maximum extent possible under the law. Yeah, fuck you. You can register it out right here. Settings. Automatic scan, two updates, one of default options, you the firewall, which you cannot do right now. Secure internet settings, get to the control. Allow all my systems to turn off. I don't know what you got, but. So, okay. 
Make the person see what it does while you're doing stuff. It's annoying. How do I get rid of it? Well, it's called West Deer a row. So, I think I can do this first last time. One way, depending on the rogue, is to activate it. Now, don't go buying these things. And now it is on, you don't want to see it anymore. But don't go buying one. You can usually find after a few days an activation key. So, I've tried the activation key on this one and this one. I have not tried it on this one. Or, no. This one and this one, but not this one yet. This is the one we're working on right now. So let's try the activation code and see if it works or not. I don't know. I just copy and paste it. No. And it worked. Alright. Then if you did it, you can go ahead and do other things. You can run a malware scan probably. Um is that there was I don't know. Hide a malware scan and race it that way. Or you can just bring it with the and kill it. And I forgot to save it to itself to see and I can say things. Your username, application, data. Um, what you gonna do? Right here is the file. This name does change around a little bit. You can just delete these two. Delete this. And. Where is this stupid command at? I don't know. Is it under all users, start menu, programs? Nope. Without. Under the editor. Where? Microsoft Windows. Yep, right there. Let it run, so it that. Get rid of that. And that's it. It is now gone. If I go into reboot, you will not see it anymore. The next thing I can go as in depth. Um, but what kind of work it does do? That's just another way to remove it without activating it. I want to test the key on this because it works not, and it does. So it is now gone. I'm going to do this. Another one will not work if you've already activated one, so we have to restore the snapshot. Take when I started here. Back to square one. And that just going to show the pay screen. I get to see it on this one. Okay, pull the number. As the permanent production. I guess these are all basically the same program with a different name because people hear, oh, this part of the virus, well, it changed the name slightly. And now people can't know it's a virus, they know it absolutely is. So let's go ahead and see how this one looks. Again, it can very simple. There's a, a lot of these, let's just go. Hang on a second. Um, more than I could ever do a video on, reasonably. This thing kicks off, they scan, the last one did. Um, I'll just say it through another, or the minute, say it through another, or the way. I'm not seeing you. Um, but you can see it looks very, very familiar. It uses the same key as the other two, so. What is trying to do this thing? It runs. Detonator. Does not work. Command prompt. Does not open. Cannot open Chrome. 
and then um, these all look pretty similar. I don't think they're exactly the same, but it's pretty similar. Um, if we do the active RST removal, activate. It doesn't just show the patron, so cool. Um, alright, that's fine. So, 99.9. Hmm. Yeah, 99. Okay, the errors does still work. Um, so they wanted. I mean, I paid the dollars to do this. That's all you tell them. Um, so, yeah, now you see kind of the prices. Lifetime support for 80 bucks. Wait, lifetime and lifetime support. Oh, okay, lifetime subscription and lifetime support. Okay. It's all like a fucking scam, but, you know. How cool you do get to see what the screen what looks like though. So yeah, it did not give the alert oh, right away. Let me go with this. Um, key log react to be detected. Information security is at risk. I tried. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go the names again. It's the same fucking thing. Um, that just does that. How can you get around this, um, without the key? The key. We can try to do, potentially. Let's get into the C drive. Yeah, you gotta close it down. It's something doing. Even if it goes, no, I still can't do certain things. Go to the C drive. Settings, your account. I just gotta show the photo options. Settings, creation data. I mean, you can't delete this right away because it's still running. Should get an error here in a second. Yeah. But we can, for some reason, rename it. And I heard, oh, well, yeah. If I reboot now, you will see that it is gone. And reboot it still did run as a reboot, but we'll do that on the third one, because they're all basically the same. And now I can go back into that folder. See now Chrome does open. Back into that folder. So things to me, data. That one can just die. And you can get a red dot. Local machine, software, microchip, Windows, current version, run. I know that's I definitely, I guess. I wonder if it's under the store at four. Oh, it didn't do it on startup. I'm going to go. Or it's under for some reason. Just don't know why it would be, but. But here. Yep. Done here for me. My guess is this may be an order version, but it wasn't done as well. Because one, it doesn't check the server, see it even there for the payment process. And two, it's in the current user instead of a uh, local machine. So another user, if another user signed in, it wouldn't affect them, I would, I would think. Which is interesting. I went when you saw it, and did not. But, uh, let's go ahead and restore one more time. And do the, the last one.
in the roots helper. And it's damn near the same story. But I'll just third way to remove this. Um being in safe mood. It's damn near the same thing as the same way I did that. Oh. They're all pretty I'm not gonna go through bothering to download Mono Bits for that because I just I don't need to. Um But if it's the version that I'm with, you probably should. Alright, here's the evil bullshit. Um you can't click anything on it after it's finished. I don't know if it's better or not. Oh, it doesn't use any extra keys, interesting. Okay. But, yeah, I'm sure it's usable. Can't run anything. Mm, oh, yeah, that does work. But, I'm pretty sure you see MD. It's dead. Come there. Nope. Let's pull some reboot here. I'm sure it's a reboot. Because it does. And then the reboot, and I'm gonna unlock this thing in safe mode. So I'm reboot here, it should, yep, and it starts right up. Alright, let's go ahead and use safe mode to go ahead and knock this thing out. Very set. So you can go any one of these things. Um, let's do command count one. Oh no. Then you need key to activate to actually run. Let's be in safe mode. Fuck. I can throw this in some more. That wasn't the matter that that was for Buck, wasn't it? For some reason, it's still not been a lot recently. Hey, tech savvy. No. Yes, sir. Uh, is it in the start thing then? Maybe under here? Is that it? Oh, these are some new programs. Mm -hmm. No. But now it doesn't use virtual keys around. It says, my notes say that I kind of doubt it. Um, I go off. And there's current version. Um, yeah, it does dumbass. <laughs> but here's the virtual key that makes it run on startup. I probably didn't see it in the fucking local machine. I'm thinking, if I delete this key here, that is the startup key for this. Let's go restart. No, it should not run on startup. So very similar to just changing the name and rebooting it, or I would be working around the block of not being able to boot the file or use Reg Edit. As you see, it's not starting now. So I should go to my computer, see, lock up the settings. Uh, did I show you? Right, we gotta show this. One, eight and five. Using data and bye. And now it's gone. Look underneath the current user. Yeah. I'm kind of curious now to check something from the last two. So I'm kind of curious now. Notice that. I run. I say the control panel. The accounts. Create a new one. Create a generic ass name. Okay, I mean, why not? If I run, let's say, from our talk run. I think it's underneath the uh, local user um, startup thing. Where is it? So in theory, if it's just the current user, I put another user account on her, that user can have the same problem. Which is weird. Normally I don't do that. 
Vi går ned straks op i. Shit, hvor er det godt. Hvad er det, kan I? Kan jeg ikke kende det? Ja, jeg kan ikke kende det. Ej, hvad er det over i år, så? Jeg kan ikke kende det. No. Interesting. Huh. There's just something there. Just another either account. Go in there and fucking do it. You just have to go underneath. Okay. Underneath files. Show hidden. Let me under this too. There's a leader out there. Put that file. You can't use the registry because the registry for that user is different than other users. Right here, and now it's gone too. Just limit it on the fly. So interesting, that's a mistake on, on the author's part because it's not like you want to do all users. So, yeah. Everything else here, sir. There is a shit ton of these. Maybe I shut this down here. Hold the internet back in. Few ones that were like surprising the computers, but as a um how to describe this. As a precaution and procedure, I always disconnect the internet computer while doing shit like this. Just in case, just because, you know. It's not worth the risk of running that stuff with the internet connecting. I don't know anything. Edge, fuck, edge. Got a chrome here. Gonna be fake vines. Uh, here we go. We might open this computer. Yeah, there's all of these different variations of the same thing up there. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 33. 36, 39, 111 at least variations of the same fucking program. There's a lot of these, so I'm not covering all of them. Actually, they're, they're damn near the fucking same. At least these three are. So we might do. Um, which was the first one we did. That was the least one it was like. We have. Uh. Conversation, which is November nine month order and then anti breach. Over. Also, nine months prior. So, the second two were ordered in the first one I showed. So, yeah. We actually found one from 2009 just to show it off a little bit. But, uh, this is actually so long. Much more, much more. We're probably not on this one. Now, that was the fake bones uh, filming of rogues. Oh, three of them. I'm not doing all 211. Uh, this is just the one that these guys have listed. If they're all truly different. Eight different names. And so this was the different, the different names. So, and yes, I did clean the desktop a bit on the computer. Because, yeah, it's quite a mess. Anyhow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is I don't know this editing. I have two of these I need to get edited. 
one for Friday, for Monday. Hopefully be out on the 27th, the 27th. We're going to Hopefully the, well, hopefully the 20th I'll have this out. So, I know this is still not video. Alright, hope you all good. Nice to meet you guys. Take it easy.